Hey, my beautiful gems, welcome to your reading for June 2020 with me, Adrian H. Nelson of Agent Great Life. And, um, you know, um, I just want to tell you, like, before I start your reading, um, I got the most exciting feeling for you. It is like, the sentence that came up in my mind is this, the sun is finally starting to shine on your dreams, on your heart's desires, all those beautiful amazing incredible things sorry when i whenever i sort of like get a, a thing that is really like there for you like my nose itches i don't know why <laughs> um but notice pay attention to the signs what happens just before something amazing happens in your life all right um but i feel that it's like all the hard work that you've put in and all the um you know i feel that some of you your souls were it's almost like you were feeling very tired inside like kind of dredging kind of like oh my goodness is this ever going to happen for me but i feel that for so many of you um it is that um you know almost like at the point of giving up so you're not even at the 11th hour you're like for many of you you were like um at the 11th hour and 59 minutes and 59 seconds, it, it, you were done. It, it was it, you know. But I feel this amazing um, potential for you, not just, um, you know, uh, not just like the spy in the sky type of vibe that, oh, maybe possibly and perhaps, no, 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 no. It is like it's coming through for you. It's um, some offer, um, opportunity, um the right sort of circumstances, people, and for a lot of you, you will actually realize that even though it seems like a chance sort of thing that happens right now, you are the one that put in all your, you know, all the work and all the time and all the energy through. Um, I feel that a number of you might have been sort of on, I wouldn't say a wrong path, but sort of like a path that, like, it's almost like you might have lost your way just a little bit. You know, like when children sometimes go and, like, walk in the forest or something like that. Or if you're anything like me, you know, um, I'm in a city or a place that I don't know, and I get so entranced by everything that I just go walking and I don't keep any sort of direction. Normally, I don't have a phone with me. Um, but um, then... You, you, you feel you become a little lost, but then eventually, obviously, you get found again, all right? Um, of course, this is an exciting period because the month of June, um, half of June, or whenever you really look at this reading, it's the right time for you. But for us now, June 2020, you know, um, a, a great part of June is um, that, that um, other half of Cancer, sorry, sorry Cancer, um, Gemini, but then you obviously move into Cancer. So for many of you, you are moving from almost like different sort of options, different choices, you know, where where your mind goes to jump to this and jump to that and jump to this and jump to that. You sort of really, um, it's, it's like you became more focused. All right. So what you would find that for some of you, you, you might have had the experience where life didn't quite go the way that you wanted it to go. Okay, and um, some things might have been very, very overwhelming there for you for a period of time that you really thought that you're not going to be able to make it even, you know, and some of you had to um, very much against your sort of will because you like this free soul beings, you know, but you had to kind of like be open to doing things in a bit of a different way. And I know things have been a little bit overwhelming there sometimes, but it's like everything starts to make sense now. The pieces of the puzzle are starting to fit together for you and the picture starting to form and the light starting to shine and the sun shining on your dreams and it's beautiful. And I am so happy for you for that. Okay. I'm also happy for myself because I'm a Cancerian, but I've got a lot of Gemini in my chart. So whatever happens with the overall energy of Gemini, I feel it, <laughs> okay? Um, and of course, I've got some beautiful, beautiful gems in my life. Oh, I love my Geminis. I love them, love them, love them, love them, love them, love them. They make life fun and exciting and exquisite. And so thank you, you beautiful people, for, for doing that and for reminding the rest of us that you don't always have to take life that seriously, okay? And then we will be here to remind you that sometimes you need to take it a little bit more seriously. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Um, what I want you to do just before we start our reading. So this is kind of like for, for the month um, of June. And then as you know, um, or as you may know, that um, I also have the weekly readings 
that are coming out for you. So if you're interested in seeing how your own story progresses and what's happening for you, you're more than welcome to subscribe to my channel and you can hit that notification bell just next to the um, subscribing so you know when your reading is coming out, okay, which is once a week for you on a Monday. Um, but yeah, you know, let's let's think back a year ago and whenever you're looking at this video, it's the right time for you. And if you rather want to do a month, that's also fine. But let's think about a year ago, a year back, you know. So in this particular case, now being June 2020, we'll be thinking of June 2019. So all the things that happened in, in, this, in this year, you know, the, we, we're about in the half of this year now. So let's think of the things that happened back a year ago, the people that you've met, the experiences you had, the things that made your heart smile, the, the the, the positive things that happened, you know, despite everything else. What are those golden sort of moments that you treasure? Because, you know, you're one of those people, Gemini, that you see magic where other people sometimes see a blank slate or, you know, just problems or whatever. I mean, you you these positive peanuts and I love you, okay? Um, so let's, let's think of all those nice little things that happen, okay? And... What I want us to do is um, we're going to take a nice deep breath in, but we're going to breathe right into our heart space, okay? Um, and going to say to the universe, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. So you're going to tick those boxes because as we do that, what we are really doing is that we, we're communicating with the universe and it, it really is that simple. You know, we, we make things very complicated sometimes. I'm um, saying, so these are the things that I like. Those are the experiences that I had and I like those experiences. I like those things about life. And you can give me a little bit more than that. You know, it's like um, like when you have like a Sunday or something and you, you know, you have all kind of little goodies on top. And um, so sometimes when you go back to the same place again, you say like, oh, that was very nice sometimes. Can I maybe have just a little bit of extra candy this time? Or, you know, a little whatever dried banana chips or whatever the case may be, what your preference is. Okay. Um, and that's sort of what we do with the universe. And that is that is powerful, powerful manifestation. The, the, fu the funny thing is that the more you play with manifestation and the more you realize that... Um, they have fun with life and you have that light-hearted spirit thing, you know, that the Geminis generally have. The easier things actually come to you because you don't build resistance to it. You you remain in that space of non-resistance. So you communicate what you want and you remain in the space of non-resistance. It is magical. It's magic. Powerful. Okay? And then, of course, there are things in life that happen that we don't always like so much. You know, maybe people hurt your heart. They said some things that hurt you. Um, and as we breathe out and we release, we're letting those things go. We're setting them free, um, you know, saying thank you for the lessons and the experiences and the feedback. Um, even those things that we know and even those things that we don't know, because sometimes things hurt us, but they're a little bit below the surface because, you know, we don't really want to think about them. Um, so as we breathe in, we breathe in saying thank you for the positive, saying yes, 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 love, 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 love. And as we breathe out, we release those things that are not serving us in a positive way. Okay? So, let's go. Doesn't that feel calming? Okay, like a beautiful moment of peace. There's some air cleansing spray for you. There's some for me. This is Polo Sante, which is this amazing, amazing um, sort of bark of a tree, really. That's all about taking away those things that don't serve you positively and bringing in those things that do, as well as with um, some citrine crystals there at the back, which is all about prosperity and love and light and abundance and all those lovely things. Okay, so let's see, starting off, what does the angels have to say? For you for this no, this month of June 2020 okay let's see what is your energy for this month and if you forget it a little bit um, as you go through the month remember you can always come back and you can always just look at the reading again in addition to your weekly readings oh it says assertiveness okay um, it's a very fashionable funky angel here <laughs> the situation can be healed gently and with love all right as you've requested, yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other people involved. So don't limit yourself down in the situation, okay? We, the angels, will stand right, um, sorry, we, the angels, will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. 
opening yourself to the guidance of the angels that is always with us, always beautifully with us. Let's see what we've got for you in a crystal oracle card this week. There is this week and this month as well. Um, there's one that fell right out there. Mm, quite quite sexuality. And sexuality is very much about the truth of who you are. Who are you? Who do you choose to be? You know? Um, and sometimes, now, Gemini can be quite a, a lot sometimes, you know? And sometimes we feel that we need to um, tone ourselves down a little bit, limit ourselves down a bit, you know? So you're not so, um, so extra, okay? Um, but... Quite quite um, sexuality. First of all, it reminds you that you are a soul that is here on planet Earth. You know, you're having a human being experience as a soul here. The, it reminds you of the of the unique sort of opportunity of the beauty of the experience, and it encourages you to really immerse yourself and open your mind to how incredible this journey can actually become. All right. Um, I don't know if I said in the beginning of the reading. This is obviously a general reading. All right, so whatever resonates with you, you take it in with you in your heart, and what doesn't resonate with you, you just release it with peace and you just let it go. Okay, don't worry about things that are not for you. Okay, if you want to have a personal reading, I do do personal readings as well, 12 US dollars for a 30 minute reading, and it's a downloadable video that I sent to you. Okay, but for you specifically, uh, Cancer, um, Open yourself to how incredible life can actually become. Fully open your heart, open your mind, open your soul, open your being, open your your willingness, you know, um, that filter of allowing to really um, be a channel that can just experience how incredible and amazing and wonderful and fantastic and beautiful and exciting and successful your life could become. Remember, as I said in the beginning of the reading, the sun is shining on your dreams, you know, that little, uh, the world, you know, I really feel that the world needs a bit of extra right now. Um, in many ways, life has become quite dull, quite boring, quite overwhelming, you know, um, depressing, sad. There, there's so many things happening in the world at the moment that has really got people's spirits down. So they need your playfulness and they need your um, expression of who you are, you know. Um, that all that makes you wacky and weird and unique and beautiful and, and just incredible, they need your shine, that diamond sort of shine that you have. We all need that right now. So this is an open invitation for you to really just sparkle and shine. Okay? If you ever wanted to shine bright like a diamond or a fairy or an angel wing or a sunlight or whatever, this is the time for you. The world needs that magic that you are. Okay? They really, really do. And I'm just um, getting for you here an enchanted map card, which is all about your life path. Um, Seeing what do we have there? What is the ma what is the magic there for you? Encouragement. Look at this. You are encouraged to um, to to be you, to, to to shine. You know. And yeah, okay. So there are parts of you that maybe still need to to be to be worked upon. You know. Um, we are all a work in progress. We are all a work in progress. We are all a masterpiece becoming. But be just because you're a masterpiece becoming. That is the magic thing about life. You are a masterpiece becoming, you are in full unfolding, but you are also a masterpiece already. Okay? The the magic is in the details. Alright? The magic is in the details, and the details is for you um, living your life. The the spiritual realm, the, the you know, the angels, the fairies, um, the dragon energy, your soul guides, your ancestors, the whole vibe is saying to you, let things, you know, in, instead of, um, I feel that some of you might sometimes feel that, you know, um, you are safe to sort of live this part of your life, but not that part of your life, you know. Um, 
This is now for you about living all parts of your life. Oh, look at this. This is so amazing. I've got this one card here that is in exactly the same position as was actually for Aquarius, you know. So, um, and Aquarius is very good at bringing diversity together. So maybe you want to go and have a look at that reading as well. All right. Um, I'm going to show you the cards that I have. These are the angel um Archangel cards for you actually, Archangel Tarot cards that I'm using for your readings for, for this month. And it says two of Michael. So do you see how those different parts come together? You know, these sort of unicorns there, as the different parts come together. So it's not, it's no longer about either this or that. But it's how, um, it's, it's almost like our different polarities, what, you know, like positive and negative, for example, when you bring them together, that is how the current flows, that is how the magic flows, you know, if you just have positive or you just have negative, then it doesn't really flow. But if you bring everything together, that is where the magic lies. All right. So for you, it's about bringing those things together, those parts of you that you maybe sometimes felt it was okay for you to be you, yeah, but not so much here. Yeah. Um, this is now about being bring all parts of you together and then um, shining in the light of the magic that you were always meant to shine. Okay. Seven of Gabriel. Um, also, again, balancing those those chakras of yours like the seven main chakras all the way from the root chakra which is really what um this 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 koi koi card was all about you know um from the truth of who you are from the root chakra all the way up to the crown chakra all the way up to the star chakra all the way shining through all right and look at that now you are no longer just two unicorns two horses coming together there and i had such an amazing vision actually about horses in the um sort of in the sea horses with wings um and and not actually the horns of the unicorn just just yesterday you know not not last night but the night before um with this magical sort of sunshine coming together just i even think about it now i spoke about it on my facebook live yesterday i do go live on facebook quite often so if you want to follow me on facebook the link is down below i also go on instagram um i i like to post motivation on there so you're more than welcome to follow me on facebook and instagram if you like to do that um and look at that the magic coming together and now you're flying now you've got wings now you fly you're even more amazing all right five of gabriel which is where the card was for aquarius in the previous reading so go and have a look at that the pieces coming together as you working more and more with yourself and who you are and your potential and you open yourself to the idea that you can be so much more than you ever imagined look at that not only are you piecing the pieces together but the universe is piecing the is, is giving you more to work with more magic all right um and seven of ariel again um, Ariel is all about um, physical manifestation, abundance, your life. Yeah, so we speak a lot about your life here, yeah, your dreams coming true. Okay. Let me just see what the cards are saying. It will all be better if you just make a decision. Okay. And let the decision be you. Choose you. Okay. Overanalyzing a problem. Find a compromise. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence and claim your personal power okay um <laughs> there's uh in the um in the like uh in south africa like in the more like traditional um sort of ways of south africa you know um for those of you who don't know there's lots of different sort of like traditional tribal tribes so to speak in south africa itself um and there's this power word which is called Amandla, like Amandla, you know, back in the days when people were marching for freedom, for who they are, and to express themselves fully, you know, they would go like, Amandla, Amandla, comrades, Amandla, you know, A-M-A-N-D-L-A, Amandla. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and of, of course, you know, that all leads to more beauty. And a challenge you can resolve, withdraw from the drama of others if you're gonna have drama have your own drama okay don't worry about other people's drama all right withdraw from the drama of others and have patience with yourself and those around you not everybody always catches up as quickly as you do okay you have invested wisely have patience and wait for the harvest that beautiful things coming in the sun shining on your dreams review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor 
all right so don't feel that it's you have to be too careful not to make plans because what if they don't work out and what if i'm disappointed and then what da, 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 stop over analyzing okay what are your dreams what would you like to experience what would you like your heart to feel let yourself feel that don't fight yourself don't battle yourself okay there we go two cards coming off okay oh look at you all right so yeah um there might be a lot of how do you bring everything together you know a lot of these sort of like emotional battles that you might be having in your mind um and i know that sometimes you know one likes to sort of entertain different sort of scenarios but um, it's time for you to immerse more sort of in the truth, especially the truth of who you are, of what you would you like to, you would like your life to be. Um, so don't again, don't be too involved in other people's dramas. You know, you can kind of look at. I'm not saying be cold hearted, but you know, you can sort of observe what's happening around you. Um, you know, other people's stuff, but. Um, and you know you can be there and send love send love from your heart but it doesn't mean that you have to become too personally involved in things that really has nothing to do with you you know some fights in this world have always been going on before you were there um they're going on while you're there or despite you being there and even when you're gone they're still going to be there all right um which really many times mean that people's personal battles got nothing to do with you all right be there, send love, whether you're present or not, but it doesn't mean that you have to become part of the um, of the drama as well. Focus on you, focus on your energy, focus on your life part. Um, who is the magic that I am, all right? How is the magic that I can shine right now? Embrace that, em embrace the idea that your life can be so, 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 so magical, all right? Instead of looking for the magical beings, realize that you you are those beings you that that um jack and the beanstalk type of vibe you are the magical beings you are the magic it is um by fully opening yourself to the magic that you are that um your sort of you know big tree grows that you can scale to your magic that is that that is your potential okay and in that way, by not focusing too much on other people's traumas, keeping the focus on you, your magic, your expansion, you can actually help those people as well. Okay. Mm. Oh, this is amazing. A lot of you are healing from previous heartache, previous mistakes, which are really just learning curves. Things that you, I feel that for many of you, there are things that happened that it was... It's, it's almost like other people would have forgiven you and understood and even moved on past and maybe forgotten. But it's almost like you um, f felt for a long period of time that you had to feel guilty about stuff. You had to. Um, it's almost like there was an honor in some sort of suffering for all the things that you've done wrong. Um, but I feel you're moving past that. I, I, I feel that you are beginning to see how sort of... Um, futile that is how it really doesn't serve your life purpose in a positive way moving past that you know i'm saying okay so this is how my beautiful heart has been broken and you know what if there's one thing that can bring tears to a person's eyes it is a heartbroken gemini oh my goodness all right it can i can just burst into tears i really can okay um because at your at your core you are such a you are such a positive peanut all right and um <laughs> one of these um other gemini's that i know um very cute by the way um con always refers to himself as a positive peanut and i thought that sounds so cool you know so um i've been talking about positive peanuts <laughs> um but yeah it's time to let the heart to go and here's the thing you can still have the appreciation for what things were, for what they could have been, um, you know, for what they were not. So you can still honor the, the magic, but it doesn't mean that you have to stay stuck sort of in those things in the past that are not serving you in a positive way because, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, oh Gemini baby. 
You are coming into your shine. You are coming into your moment. It's like, imagine it almost like um, your life. Imagine it like having like a big garden. And you've planned it all out and all meticulous attention to detail. And you know, you've kind of put in like the fountains and the whatever, the trees. And now it's spring and the garden's just coming to life. The trees are green, the flowers are, you know, starting to bloom. The birds are there, the bees are there. And it's just beautiful. All right. Um, you get into that moment. And I want you to, to really stop and look back and realize when these beautiful things happen in your life. That it's because of everything that you've done. This is the beauty of your heart that is unfolding and being reflected back to you in beautiful ways. And if you could do that, there is so much more that you can do. All right. You have unlimited potential to create a beautiful life for yourself. And so it is. Okay. Just want to grab you quickly for you, Gemini, just to end of our reading. Um, I'm going to get two cards for you. There's one that flew out there. I'm going to have a look at it, what it is now. Uh, okay. Those are too many cards. Hmm. Let's do something for you. So I'm going to draw for you this one, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to draw for you from this deck as well, just because you're a Gemini. I can give you that little slice of extra. Okay. <laughs> Such a perfect card. All right. So this is just your little bit of extra oomph, and it says, and really, I mean, this this is so true. It says that you were born with that it quality, that sort of X factor. All right. Uh, do you know what's really beautiful? Confidence. Do you want to know what's really powerful? Persistence. Do you want to know what's really sexy? Hmm. You know all about sexy, don't you? <laughs> um, it's not needing to be needed. Okay. Like you would like something, but your world's not going to fall apart if you don't have it because you know that you are this bright, shining, you know, Gemini peanut. <laughs> um, and if still they don't notice your good looks, your strength, and like your, you know, your sachet, could you feel more sorry for them? Tell you. <laughs> and then just um, there for you, rejuvenating rain. I love rain. For me personally, it says clear the past and heal the present. Okay. Unlock your potential. For me, it's all... When, when something amazing is about to happen in my life or there's some kind of confirmation, it rains. What's it for you? Okay, What is it for you? Honor, love and respect for you, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful souls. Okay, um, May you have a beautiful month. May you have a beautiful life. May your heart and your soul just smile. Okay. Remember, you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel. I've got a reading coming up for you every week. Um, or follow me on Facebook or on Instagram. And if you want to have a personal reading, it's 12 US dollars for a 30 minutes reading. Until next time, namaste.